Building is a big part of Grounded. Check the Grounded Reddit right now and you'll see dozens of posts of people sharing their amazing builds. For me, not being the most creative or artistic person, building has mostly been focused on functionality in Grounded and many other games. I do try to make my builds look nice while also serving their purpose, but I know I have a long ways to go before I can be considered a master builder. Today the road to becoming a master builder begins and it starts with your help. In this video I'll be showing you my best base builds so far and I want you to give me your honest opinion of them and how you would make them even better. Before we begin, if you want to share your best base builds, you can do so on my Discord in the Grounded Base Builds channel. There's a link for the Discord down in the description. Let's get started. So every build you're going to see in this video today was done in survival. Now these aren't all the builds I've done, but these are just the ones that I felt like sharing because I thought they were the best ones. So first off, we're going to start off in the original survival world that I played. This is the one we started back, I think, around April of last year, where I was playing Call with my kids. It's when we picked the game back up after having not played it since launch. And after having done all the content leading up to the Shroom and Doom update, we were looking for something to do. So we decided to build a museum where it housed every item that was in the game up to that point. Now, we haven't finished it or we haven't upgraded it since then, but it does have everything up to that point. And it did take quite a long time. I think this took a couple of actual like weeks of real time to build this. So we're just going to head in here real quick and take a tour. And basically what we have here in this lobby area is we have some stuffed insects. We have some of the armors on the armor dummies. We have lots of pictures because there's tons of pictures that were in the game at the time as well as some wall mounts. And we head over here to the right wing, we're gonna see more of the pictures and the rest of the armor, as well as more of the wall mounts and the other stuffed insects. They're all down here on the first floor. Like I said, this was everything up until the Shroom and Doom update. I don't think we added anything after the Shroom and Doom update. I could be mistaken, but I can't remember exactly because it's been so long since we played in this world. Quickly heading upstairs, you're gonna we're gonna see the rest of the pictures that were available at the time. We do have a little bedroom that's hidden over here, so it does house the bed. We got a basket here with some resources that couldn't be displayed. And then we also have up on the walls, we have all the weapons and tools on wall mounts. So that's that inside of here. This is the main building. Now out back real quick, what we did was we built this little seating area here with a restaurant. So this has all the cooking stuff. So let's fly down here real quick. Got ourselves a jerky rack over here. All the tables and chairs over here. And then back here we have the little cooking area, which is going to have the rest of the stuff. I think there's a smoothie station. So we got the smoothie station, the, ro the roasting spit, everything back here. And then last but not least, we're going to have over here to the right side, we had all the other stuff that was, that was in the game at the time, such as zip lines, the bounce webs, and stuff like that. So let's take a quick look at that. So over here, we got the basketball hoop. We got some zip lines, kind of like a little playground area. And then there is a bounce web, or there was a bounce web somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Maybe it's up top. As I was doing some testing up here, as you can see, there's some random stuff built up here that I was testing. Yeah, there's a, there was a bounce web somewhere. So we have a little clubhouse up here. And then of course we have the zip line. So that's the museum. That's going to be the first thing we've looked at. And like I said, this took probably the longest of everything I've built. This probably took the longest, even with three of us. We legitimately carried like all the weed stems. We cleared all, all these weed stems, brought them over here. We were going across the pond and bring them over here. As you can see, we ended up building a bridge. We had zip lines. I did use lots of zip lines in this world because we were using them for transporting our resources back and forth. So anyway, that's the Museum 1.0. I am currently working on Museum 2.0 in my new survival world. So I'll be streaming that later this week or actually probably the same night this is going live. And I plan on streaming that at least once a week until the next update, building that museum out. So if you want to check out live building action and give me some tips of your own, you can do so there. The second house that's on this survival world, and it's going to be the last one I show you on this actual survival world, is going to be my pond wood cabin here that I built. So I surrounded the entire thing by, with the palisade fence and gates here so that nothing could get in. Honestly, nothing really comes down this way. This is actually in a pretty safe spot. We're over here by the net. Other than having mosquitoes down there and some mosquitoes down there by the wood, this is a pretty safe spot. I think really infrequently a, the wolf spider might wander all the way over here, but it usually doesn't happen because there's a bunch of stink bugs over here in the grass and it usually doesn't get through all those but that could occasionally happen but i put the fence up anyway so real quick a tour the outside of this thing and i tried to make it look as detailed as possible by putting the windows up top here that were sticking out as well as the overhang awning so we got the pet house over here so i must have actually made this after the shroom and doom update because there is the pet house here i did make this one after the shroom and doom update we just didn't update the museum we got a deck out here that overlooks the water and then we have our table here with some a water collector over here. Heading on inside, we're going to have a seating area. We have the dining room here. We got a table, sitting area right here, kitchen over here. 
we got a couple wall mounts in here, nothing fancy, just something to spice the room up. We've got the cooking area here with the smoothie station. And of course, the roasting another roasting spit right here. Upstairs, we have ourselves a little sewing area here. So we got the spinning wheel in this area. We got our workbench over here. And then we have a little sitting area here where you can overlook the pond from up top here. And then back in the back, I have a bedroom with some storage area and then a sitting area where you can overlook this part of the yard. So this room actually lets you see pretty much everything up here. And you can overlook the pond, like I said. So this is the, this is one I put, I didn't put a ton of time in this, but it did take a while to get all the, to get a bunch of weeds. Even there's a lot of weeds over here. You have to cut them down a couple times to build this whole thing. But I tried to get as detailed as possible, putting in these windows that kind of had some, I don't know what the right word is. Uh, instead of it just being a flat house, it has some depth to it by putting the windows up top there. You can even get on top of it from the back, which I can show real quick. I think we can just jump up here. Yeah, so making the windows look like this instead of just having a flat windows all the way around, I thought that might have added a little bit of a uh, detail to it. So this is my number one. This is the best house I've built on this survival world. So let's head on over to my new survival world where I've built a couple more houses. Take a look at those, and then you can give me your thoughts on how to make them better as well as which one you think was the best. So first up on the new survival world is going to be the castle I built under the picnic table. So as you can see, what I did down here was I flattened the area out by building a bunch of clay foundations. I then used the stem scaffold to prop the base up. I have no idea if this would actually work with building integrity on. It may, it may not, I'm not sure, but this was built before that was started. So we got our little dew collector down here. Then the only way to get up is up here via this ladder. And then here in the main area, what we have is we have the four pillars, we have the four towers here, so we'll just walk them in one of them. Now, ideally what I wanted to do was connect these, but unfortunately the way the game's made right now, I couldn't build a walkway between these so each one of these you can get up on top of nothing special there i think i'm not even sure if there's anything in there yeah there's no storage in any of them inside the main area here we have our spinning wheel got ourselves a grinder and oven so of course we need this to make the all these mushroom bricks that i farmed because there are tons there's actually a bunch of mushrooms i think there's a bunch of mushrooms over there somewhere by the sandbox and then we got ourselves a roasting spit some storage down here and then up top is the bedroom area and we get the bed up here in the setting area. Nothing fancy here, but this did take a decent amount of time. I think this took a couple days. of. I, I built this on stream. It took a couple of days to build this because, honestly, getting all the mushroom bricks and the pebbles and stuff like that to build the foundations took a decent amount of time. And I think I did have a decent amount of crow feathers, so that wasn't a big deal. So that's the base here. That's my castle. This is the only castle that I've actually finished. I do have a castle in the first survival world I showed, but we didn't end up finishing it. We pretty much, I don't know, we just kind of got halfway through it, and that's when we stopped playing it at the time. So... Maybe we'll finish that at some point, but this is my castle. Let me know what you think about that. Do you like how it looks? It does look pretty cool at night if you're walking up to it because you can see all the lanterns up or all the torches out here. So that's my castle. So next up on this world is going to be the base that I built in the oasis of the sandbox. So as you can see, it's nighttime. We're just over here at nighttime because we don't have to deal with the sizzling effect. So this is a pretty small base. It's right next to this little field station. It's mostly protected because it's got water around it. I've not seen the ant lions actually come through the water. I guess they possibly can. I've also never seen the wolf spider over here. Of course, I say that, and it'll probably will, but people have said the wolf spider can come over here. I've never seen it come over here, so I feel like it's pretty safe. We just have a workbench, a roasting spit, and the lean-to over here. And of course, we got a dew collector and the water container. We got some leftover weed stems here. This seemed like the best place to build it because there are no antlion spawns over here. There is actually a treasure spot somewhere back here. I think it's right here. Yep. It's there right now, actually. And it's also got water, or we can put the water, we have, we're basically protected by, by this right here. So the water around here protects us. I mean, like I said, I think the wolf spider can come over here, but I've never actually seen it over here. So anyway, this is where I build here. I know people have built underneath the blocks and stuff like that that are around, like obviously not that one because the wolf spider's over there. But there is another block as well as, I've never seen anybody build on top of the sandcastle. So maybe if you have a sandcastle build, let me know, share it on my Discord. So with that said, let's head on over to the next base on this survival world. So next up is the main house that I use on the new survival world, and it's right next to the Mysterious Machine. Originally, when I started this world, I just basically built up on this rock where you can see this platform over here. So all I did was place everything up here, and then eventually I ran out of room, and I just turned this into a collection area for water. We got the cooking stuff up here, and then I have jerky. This just keeps it so the ants can't reach it, even though they're down there. They go nuts. You're going to see a bunch of weevils over here, because I do... Have, I just dropped some mushrooms in one of these little footprints over here, and it just attracts weevils, so it's free food every couple of days or whenever I need it. And then, basically, the main house is just this little thing, and I just try to make it fit in here. I have the walls around it to keep ants out, although they do phase through the rock here somehow, so sometimes there are ants in here, but it keeps most things out. 
And then inside here, basically, like I said, I usually go for functionality over looks, but I do try to make it look as nice as possible. The only reason this floor looks different is because a weed kept growing through it, or a piece of grass kept growing through it, so I put this down and it stopped it, but I don't know if that would actually change or not. So basically what we have here is, and I kind of like, I'd love for suggestions on how to make this look nicer, because honestly, I just feel like it's empty here. I guess I could put a table or something in the middle, but it just feels like a giant open space with everything along the walls. Got the bed up there on this loft with some storage. I think I do a food up there too as well to keep the bugs away from it. Down here we got the smoothie station. This is where we make all of our globs as well as any mushroom bricks I need to make. Mostly globs, so we got most of our upgrade stuff in here. And actually we got we can put these mints in there that I just got from the sandbox. Got tons of spinning wheels over here. Workbench, and then up top we have all the storage. So, And I also have armor dummies with most of the armor sets. I don't think they're all up there. I just, as I'm making them for the burgle quest or if I'm not using them, I just put them up there, and then we got storage chests dedicated to everything. So we got the small stuff like the gnats, the mites, and the grubs and weevils all the way down to here's the bigger bugs, and we got one just for spiders and so on and so forth all the way down. And then down here at the end, we have the other resources that you need as well as this stuff. And then there's our weapon chest and then extra armor and stuff like that as well as tons of dandelion tufts. So this is just like the main base that I use. And like I said, it's in the middle of the map. So it's kind of the main hub where I use to go pretty much everywhere else. I'm gonna have, I have one more I'm going to show you. I do. I was thinking about tearing this thing down and remaking it, but I just haven't got around to it yet. I did like the fact of where it was located because it had water around. It kind of gave it a little bit of, I guess, character. But I do think I'm going to make, make some changes to it. So if you have any suggestions on how to make this look cooler, let me know in the comments down below or over on my Discord. And we do have the Abomination Totem over here which I did craft in this world because I have, did find the crafting recipe, I think, when I was playing on this world. It was the first time I found it. So let's head on over to our last base. And before we wrap this video up... So last but not least is my little house that I built on Aphid Island. This is over here by the hedge. And the reason it's called Aphid Island... I, don't, I didn't coin the term. I think somebody... I'm sure other people called it this, but I just started calling it too. There are tons of aphids over here. There's also going to be weevils. And is that a mosquito hiding over there? Okay, we're going to leave the mosquito alone because we don't feel like fighting him. So basically, I built this here because I was doing some stuff over in the hedge. I needed, I wanted the house over here, and the mosquito is in our face. Let's get in the house real quick. The, I wonder if he'll attack the walls. So I built this little house over here because I was collecting berry leather, and I just happened to come over here, and I was like, you know what? I want to find a place where there's just lots of easy food as well as can I have a pet? And this actually ended up being a perfect place to see how long you can keep a pet because... An aphid or a weevil will not leave this island. So if you tame it over here, as long as you come over and feed it periodically and pet it once in a while, it will not leave. And even if it does leave you, you can actually just go over and find it because there's no predators over here. The mosquitoes don't, are not, I've never seen a mosquito attack an aphid or a weevil. I guess they could accidentally attack them. There's no ladybugs over here. There's no ants. They can't get to it because this is all waterlocked all the way, or it's all, yeah, it's surrounded by water all the way around. So there's no way anything can get over here. So I built this little hut over here. It's got everything that you would need over here. It's got the dew collector out here. Got the bed, the workbench, and everything. So just a small little thing. We got our little pet houses out there. My pets are currently not tamed because I just haven't been over here in a long time. And I honestly didn't feel like being bothered with it. But this is a really great spot for collecting food. Also, if you don't want to build over in the actual hedge, I do have like a little setup over there where I have all of my spinning wheels for the web fiber you can get over there, as well as the jerky racks for berry leather. I do have that over there, but this is just like a little outpost I have set up here. I did spend a decent amount of time over here uh, in the survival world before the new update. So that's my last house. So just to recap, we had the museum, the 1.0 museum, the first one I built. We had the, the pond log cabin. We had the picnic table mushroom castle. We had the little hut in the oasis of the sand castle. The main base I had on here by the Mysterious Machine, and then this little aphid island shack that we have over here. So let me know in the comments down below which one you think is best. Don't roast me too hard. I know, like, when I look at other people's builds over on the Reddit and other, other the ones that people have shared in my Discord, there's some really creative people that build some really cool stuff. And I know I'm not up to that level. I probably won't ever be up to that level because in, in terms of building, I usually go for form over or functionality over form. So I'd rather have it be functional rather than what it looks like. But I am trying to make things look cooler because I do like the fact that things that to make them look cooler. And for as an example right here, I did make the overhang on here. And you're going to see it's a little bit glitchy. If you look up here, you'll actually see, if you look close, you'll see there's like a little bit of glitching. I did make the overhang because what I would like to see, honestly, even though I'm not huge in the building, is more building pieces. Like I want a roof piece that's a half roof piece. The only way to get the half roof so it's got a slight overhang instead of a huge overhang is to actually have two of them on top of each other with one inside of each. It. So you can see it over here too. 
We got the little overhang over there because I think that's more what a house would actually look like rather than having this giant awning overhanging it. So, well, I like I said, I'm not the greatest builder. I usually just build for form over for functionality over form. I know a lot of you guys are great builders, so if you have any suggestions, just small tips. What do you think I could do to improve just little things or major things? Give me the suggestions down in the comments or head over to my Discord. Thank you for watching and thank you so much to my channel members, especially the Overseer91, Grey Knight, Badge Channel, and all my other channel members who help make videos like this possible. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.